Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the Volkswagen Crafter as a base vehicle for a camper van conversion. I'm not talking here about motorhomes, uh, that's something else. The reason I want to talk about it as a uh, camper van conversion is to obviously to keep the existing shape, the walls of the, the VW, and this is something which many people would be able to do themselves at home. Now, the uh, Volkswagen Kraft, of course, has been used on many vehicles already, and uh, even Volkswagen itself, in particular, the new Grand Con California, which will shortly be available. So, what about those people considering using the VW as a base for their own self-build? Well, what I think that makes the VW Kraft so interesting for a camper conversion is the overall shape, because it uh, it's sort of more of a boxy-like shape, means that more internal space is available when compared to uh, other vehicles, and in particular to, for example, the Mercedes Sprinter. So in the film, you can have a look at the shape of the van, and then you can make your own mind up. The vehicle in its current form was launched in the autumn of 2016 and it was offered to the public from the spring of 2017, meaning that one can now find good used models on the second hand market, which will be considerably cheaper than a new van, even if they've already done um, uh, many, many more kilometers than the camper is likely to do in the next 20 years. As a rule, campers, of course, don't tend to do many kilometers because even if you're living in the van, you tend to stay in the same place. You're not sort of using it to go to work each day and you're certainly not using it for deliveries. Oh, you're probably not using it for deliveries anyway. Maybe in another film I've talked about, how can you earn money from your uh, uh, to fund your van life? And there's an idea, you could, be a you could become a courier and carry things around. Anyway, so, the Crafter has a maximum permitted weight of 5.5 metric tons and comes in 6 metre, 683 centimetre and 739 centimetre lengths and with a maximum internal height of 715 centimetres and that would allow builders to put in a double floor for isolation. In the smaller versions, uh, you, you won't get such a high roof so they may not be uh, so, uh, um, so useful to you. Now, external height in the tallest version is 200. 180 centimeters so that would give you a lot of internal room to play with and builders can juggle around with the features important to them such as size of the bathroom dining bed storage etc now obviously if you build your own van you can decide what you want and uh, if you want a huge bathroom and no room up front you can do that if you want to have half your van being a fridge you can do that whatever you want really it's up to you bear in mind the manufacturers have got to build what they can sell now the chassis has Macpherson front sus suspension with different variants for, of a uh, rigid rear axle and electromechanical steering. Standard features include electric windows, central locking with wireless remote control and storage features for things like a mobile phone, laptop and tablet all in the cab. Other features, some of which are optional, include lane keeping system, that's lane assist, parking system, Park assist, front assist emergency braking system, automatic post collision braking system, side wind assistant, driver alert system, automatic main beam dripping, co sorry, dipping control by light assist, and much more. There are also front, side, and head airbags for the driver and the passenger. There's a reversing camera, rear traffic alert, and sensor based side protection. There are also options for a second air condition and, and second heat exchange of a fuel operated auxiliary heating system, which may come in very handy in a camper conversion. There are various engine configurations, which Volkswagen claim are 15% more fuel efficient than its competitors. You may already heard something about Volkswagen and its fuel efficiency, so let's not say too any more about it here. So, what do you think of that then? What would you like to build a van out of? Do you think the, the Volkswagen Crafter would make a good base vehicle? Is it something that would interest you? And uh, if so, why not write down what you think the best vehicle uh, for a base vehicle would buy? Personally, I think the Boxer has got the best shape. I'm not suggesting I would necessarily want to do something with a Peugeot, but um, I'm nothing against Peugeot, it's just that if you want to sell it later, that, that's the reason why. And uh, the, the reason for me is Boxer is 
a box. It looks like a box. So, um, that, and that's probably the shape you want in a van. But uh, anyway, what do you think? What would you prefer? What do you like? And uh, let me know. And let's see if I can get a bit of a conversation on this one because it is something I'm interested in. I want to do my own conversion. And I was thinking, yeah, okay, we'll do it. we'll do it on a Sprinter. But, um, the shape of the Volkswagen does rather tempt me. But then again, I'm coming back to the same question. What about selling it? Uh, so then, uh, later. Um, anyway, write down what you think.